Okay, so uh, I wanted to do this real quick. Uh, I haven't showed this yet, so I wanted to make a real quick lab tour of the lab that actually has the analy analytical equipment that I use. So we'll just take a quick little tour down here. This is my main room where I have a little bit of everything. Uh, we'll start over here. So this is actually the benchtop NMR that I picked up right there. And uh, I'm gonna go into more detail on how this whole thing works, uh, but I just haven't had a chance to do so. And then I have my GCMS here that is currently on standby. And actually what I have attached to it at the moment is a pyrolysis system. So this is actually a pyrolysis unit with a auto sampler, and uh, that's the transfer line that transfer the gases to the inlet on the GC. Um, and uh, if you're ever going to be having any anything like this, it's very important that you name your instrumentation. This is Vladimir Pachinko because of how it drops the sample into the oven and then spits it out here. Uh, and also it's that just because I wanted to put that there. Uh, and then, so over here I have my FTIR that uh, is a Perkin Elmer Spectrum 100. Very nice unit. Uh, I currently have a Diamond ATR. Uh, and then I also have in here some backup stuff. So this is a Germanium ATR that I use for uh, backup. This was a thermal desorption unit that I used for parts. I also have the transmission sample holder there. Uh, another pyrolysis unit that I also used for parts and a uh, whole host of chemicals up here that um, I have, I'll, I'll go through that at another time. Um, but with that being said, so the next thing that I have uh, going around here is this unit right here. This is actually a TGA DSC. So this measures uh, thermal gravimetric analysis, which is mass loss versus temperature and differential scanning calorimetry all at the same time. So uh, DSC measures things like uh, endotherms, exotherms, your glass transition temperatures, your melt points, um, any kind of thermal events that happen with uh, solid or semi-solid materials. And then from here, so you see this little connector here, I can actually hook it up to this transfer line here and then that plums from there over to this FTIR that has a gas transmission cell so that the gases that come off of the sample can then be analyzed in the vapor phase using the FTIR. So it's good to be able to do that on solid materials and compare this with the information I get from that and also from that. So there's that bit right there. And then around the corner here, this is a kind of a prep room where we have, you know, camera, take macro pictures for people, uh, kind of an inspection area here. We got a hardness tester right there. And then this is where I do some of my vacuum filtration. I do a lot of vacuum filtrations on client samples to try and figure out what the solids are that's in somebody's stuff. I was actually doing a uh, extraction on an aqueous sample right here that had nothing in it, so that was fun. Um, four place analytical balance. Uh, and then, so this is another prep area that I have for some solid samples, and that preps everything for my X-ray diffraction unit, which is this machine right here. <laughs> And actually, it uses that tiny little sample holder there on the right. So there's the sample holder. There's the reference window. And that's what uh, I use to do my basic X-ray diffraction work. And then, next thing over here is actually a fully automated FTIR microscope, which is really cool because it does have an a, uh, ATR objective that I can do actual direct spot analysis on samples and also uh, transmission and reflectance and all that fun stuff with FTIR. So uh, yeah, that pretty much sums up this room. And then the other guy that I work with has this room, which has this scanning electron microscope. It is a older system that is an Amray 1700, but uh, it does the job, it takes pretty pictures and tells people why uh, their stuff breaks. So uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's basically it. That's a little bit of everything. And uh, you know, if you have any questions, uh, give me a holler, let me know what you think. So thanks for watching.